Hi, my name is Elena Tsushima and welcome to or right back to my channel. I usually make my YouTube videos in Japanese, but I've recently gained a lot of international subscribers, so why not make a video in English, you know? For today's video, I'm going to be answering questions that I always get about love and relationship. Okay, so let's just get into the video. So the first question is, what do you think about love? To be frank, I never would have thought that I would be in love. Um, when I was little, I used to think that love was something in the movies because everyone was acting, it was non-existing. But when I started dating Louis, my boyfriend, everything changed. I am not trying to sound dramatic or anything, but... Okay, so we started dating approximately nine months ago, and at that point in my life, I was a mess, and he was the one who really helped me out with my problems. He would love me and respect me for who I am, and I've never had someone treat me or I don't know who cared about me as much as Lewis did or does I guess <laughs> of course we've been dating for quite a long time so we've had our ups and downs but I don't know I just think love is something really magical and I don't know how to explain it love is ineffable okay so next question is um, advice for liking someone who would never like you back the thought about a guy never liking back is just something we keep telling ourselves because we never expect things to go the way we want it to be. If you already told your crush that you like him and he swerved you, that's a different story, but <laughs> my best advice for you is to just tell your crush that you like him. You would never know if they like you back until you tell them. I had this one crush on this guy last year. I told him how I felt. I told him that I liked him and that I wanted to date him, but his feelings didn't reciprocate. So we ended up not dating, obviously. <laughs> how sublime, you know? After you get rejected, the most important thing is to not let that emotionally damage you because that's definitely what happened to me and it was definitely not fun. Um, um, I distinctly remember like hiding, crying, no, not hiding, crying under my like bed sheets and just listening to depressing ass songs. So don't do that because you don't have to cry all day in bed. You can go out with your girlfriends. You can go get coffee with a friend, talk about life. Don't cry over a guy that doesn't understand how good of a person you are or how amazing you are. Just let yourself trip over a guy that doesn't see how great of a person you are and find someone else that would. Next question is, is it okay to still think about my first love while dating someone else? Yes and no. Remembering and retaining feelings for your first love is nothing to be ashamed of. That person is the one who taught you how to love, to forgive, and I don't know, to trust. It's not like you can just forget about them in a second. You can miss someone but not to the point where you feel like you want to get back together with them or you feel like you're cheating on your current boyfriend. To me, cheating is disgusting. Um, I despise people who cheat on their girlfriends or girlfriends, girlfriend or boyfriend. Um, <laughs> I can't ever imagine myself cheating on someone, but my best advice for you is that if you ever lose feelings for someone, just break it off and let your partner know. A question that I would ask myself if I were in this certain situation is if I became close with my first love again, would he be my friend that I would get coffee with or would he be more than a friend? And a person that I would like to go on dates. This line right here between love and friendship really differentiates whether you should think about your ex or not. So if you're stuck in this situation, please do ask yourself this question and decide what to do. Last question is, how do you feel about fuck boys? Well, oh wait, <laughs> it's a deal. Okay, wow, okay. How do I deal with fuck boys? 
well i don't deal with them but i've dealt with them of course every girl has um i heard this analogy about boys from my all-time favorite youtuber katie um she basically says that boys are late night mcdonald endeavors so you know it's bad for you but you still go after it anyways i think this is a perfect way to explain to boys i used to go out to parties or hang out with my friends at night in tokyo like around the shibuya area because that's where everyone hangs out but the thing is that around the time you go out and meet up with your friends like around six on weekends that's when the f boys come out of their shells my why was my pinky up like that i'm sorry okay but boys go out at night because they think that they have a higher chance of getting some i swear to you um if he isn't a fuck boy he would want to take you out to lunch or just hang out with the two of you but if you're in a group and a guy approaches you not saying that everyone is a fuck boy like every boy or girl i don't know is a fuck boy but most of the times if you're in a group and a guy approaches you they just want to hook up it's sad it happens i've experienced something like that a lot of times um <laughs> if you want to completely stay away from all the boys just change the location or the place of where you usually hang out with your friends or you can either change the time if you are free during lunch you can hang out with your friends during lunch and spend the night at home or if you only have time to hang out after six you can still go out but change location instead of going to Shibuya you can go to Roppongi or Omodesando, Aoyama that's fancier and more bougie I guess <laughs> if you want to hang out with a guy and get to know him just go to a restaurant a nice quiet restaurant that's that's not bad he'll most likely not be a boy if you do that so I think that is all I have for today if you like this video give it a thumbs up and I cut myself with a razor the other night, so I have a band-aid on. Um, <laughs> give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Phone ringing, never outgoing. Homebody, never outgoing. Put my doubts on when these balls up. Tearing at the black tie, finish adding notches to my belt.